Going under the knife can have disastrous consequences. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst plastic surgery disasters. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at cosmetic surgery nightmares from famous British faces. Number 10, Bobby Norris. Hiya, how you doing, babe? During his tenure on The Only Way is Essex, fans have been struggling to keep up with Bobby Norris's frequent changes to his appearance. For years, he's been undergoing increasingly bizarre procedures. One of his earliest forays into surgery was a nose job, which some said made him look like Kris Jenner, and it was only downhill from there. Not at all, like, I'm all for it, or anything that raises awareness. One of his escapades in 2019 caused many of his co-stars to suggest he'd gone too far, when he underwent a beard transplant to boost his confidence. The results were strange to say the least. If you hadn't seen him in his TOWIE debut, you wouldn't recognise him. Bobby for PM, vote for me. Get me in Downing Street. Number 9, Chloe Ferry. Love chicken. Oh, chicken is my life. More than once, Geordie Shaw's Chloe Ferry has vowed to stop going under the knife. But so far, it seems to have been to no avail. Over the years, she's spent a whopping £50,000 on various procedures, none of which have made her happier. She's publicly said that she now suffers body dysmorphia and often warns people about the dangers of plastic surgery. She's a self-confessed addict. Yes, I haven't been completely honest, but what does that matter now? The more tame procedures include various fillers, and she's also had her eyebrows tattooed on, veneers implanted, and has had two breast implants in spite of saying she never would. She's even had a bum lift, one of the most dangerous cosmetic procedures you can undergo. Woo! Number 8, Ollie London. My ultimate goal is to look like Jimin, my idol from BTS. I've spent about $150,000 to perfect my image. K-pop has been taking the world by storm for years, and there's no shortage of extreme fans out there. One of the most famous is Ollie London, a British man who spent over £100,000 in his quest to become Jimin from BTS, which involves attempting to look like he's a different race. You can't make this smaller because there's no cartilage here, it's gone. Your, your nose already is as close as possible. You're, you're done. In order to appear more Korean, he's had jawline surgery and chin implants, and also styles his hair to mimic whatever Jimin's hair looks like at the time. He's even launched his own pop career, putting out various music videos to emulate BTS. It seems London doesn't regret his transition and isn't slowing down anytime soon. Deep down, I'm I'm I feel sad about myself. Like I'm always trying to change myself. Number seven, Charlotte Crosby. But you have said then you've gone for the cosmetic surgery. Yeah, I've so got my nose done. Got yeah. your nose done. Another of Geordie Shaw's biggest names is no stranger to plastic surgery. Charlotte Crosby has made the papers numerous times for becoming increasingly unrecognisable due to the large number of facial alterations she's had. She started with tattooing her eyebrows on and has since gone through plenty of Botox and fillers. But it hasn't all been plain sailing. Dr. Hassan's coming to check on us. I'm just hoping I'll be discharged today. When her surgeon suggested getting breast augmentation, she claimed on I'm a Celeb that she just went along with it. Then, after a health scare, she had the implants removed. She's since said she regretted having them done at all. <sighs> all right. Number six, Leslie Ash. You find a balance of what works for you, and it's either use it or lose it, basically. English actress Leslie Ash, who you might recognise from numerous BBC and ITV dramas, is one celebrity who has been quite open with her regrets about having surgery. Her original intentions would have lip enhancement surgery, but things didn't turn out well after a rather dramatic botch. Leslie was left swollen and bruised after the filler got mixed with her muscle. 
Now Leslie speaks out on morning television shows and the like, highlighting the issues people face after surgery, saying after her accident, she felt like hiding and never coming out. Well, I think a lot of people have seen what happened to me and probably are, uh, uh, you know, sort of quite careful. Number five, Roddy Alves. Hello, good morning. She started earning notoriety in the late 2010s for the number of extreme procedures she underwent and the amount of money she burned through. Some estimations put the figure at more than half a million pounds just to look like a plastic doll. She's had implanted muscles put into her abdomen and arms and has even undergone 11 nose jobs. Then she made the headlines again in early 2020 by coming out as transgender, saying she always felt more like Barbie than Ken. Exactly, so this is the real me. I'm sorry that I told you a few lies throughout the years, being seven years that uh, now I've been interviewed by you both. Yeah. It's always wonderful to be here. The procedures aren't going to stop though. She said she plans to go through with gender confirmation surgery in the future. Number four, Chloe Kahn. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Former X Factor contestant and model Chloe Kahn spoke out in 2017 about a botched nose job she underwent. It was her second nose job after an expensive procedure with a Harley Street surgeon who didn't give her the desired results. Well, I can't smell and I can't actually breathe through my nose. She found her next surgeon on Instagram and flew all the way to Ukraine to have the procedure. When she opened up about her experiences, she revealed she actually woke up during the operation and believes the doctor skimped on the anesthetic. She was left unable to breathe with a swollen face for months, and it wasn't until 2018 that she could have a corrective surgery in the UK. Sometimes you need to travel to get what you actually want, right? But whether you have a surgery in the UK or you have it abroad, it's at your own risk, mm. right? And I think you should take responsibility yeah, but for that. It is a selfish choice. No more selfish than buying yourself a pair of shoes or something. Number three, Katie Price. Yeah, I've been there, tried it, looked awful, and I have calmed it down. The country's most famous glamour model has lived her life in the spotlight for decades now and has made no secrets of the many surgical procedures she's undergone since the 90s. You don't need to, like, have it, like, loads of times. You're perfect how you are. <laughs> she's talked extensively about why she got certain procedures, like getting armpit Botox to stop sweating, and which ones she regrets, like giant breast implants and lip fillers. I had my own fat put under my eyes here, mm because they didn't want to cut my eye. Because as you get older, you do get wrinkles down here. So I had my own fat put under there because I didn't want the proper filler. But despite being so open about the harsh realities of cosmic surgery, Price has still inspired plenty of copycats. In 2015, a mother-daughter duo came on this morning to show off their looks, while Nathan Thursfield spent thousands trying to emulate his idol. Number two, Simon Cowell. What was my number one thing I would love to do in my career? And I always said I want to make an animated movie. He's been putting his money where his mouth is, literally. In 2020, Simon Cowell made headlines by his latest cosmetic job, which many found disturbing to look at. Comedian Frank Skinner is one such critic who suggested the surgeon did the procedure in the dark. He also pointed out that Cal's eyes now seem to be out of balance. Well, I was like a vampire. I, I realised really that I was going to sleep at like between 5 and 7 in the morning. He's already had plenty of facial work done, however, including a non-surgical facelift in 2018, whatever that is, and Botox in the past. That's without mentioning his pearly whites, which shine unnaturally bright under the lights of the various talent shows he judges. Number one, Pete Burns. Then men were men and women were women. You know? <laughs> <laughs> An icon of the 1980s, Burns eventually became arguably more famous for his ever-changing appearance by the time the 21st century rolled around. In the early noughties, he spent a fortune on reconstructive surgery to fix a botched operation, even suing the surgeon responsible. Well, no, what happened to me was a plastic surgery disaster by a surgeon called Maurizio Vale, and basically that took my singing career away completely. But none of that seemed to dissuade him from repeatedly going under the knife. He even once reportedly said that when he goes to heaven, he hoped God wouldn't recognise him. Unfortunately, this came much sooner than anticipated, due to long-running health issues thanks in no small part to all the surgery, he tragically died of a heart attack in 2016. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.